Daisy Bees! Hi, it's me, Daisy Bees! I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today is a very exciting day because... What was that? Did you hear that? You did? I wonder what that sound is coming from. There it is again! That sounded like a bear. It sounded like a bear growling really nearby. Have you seen any bears around here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is my tummy! Phew! Our bodies talk to us all the time. We just have to listen. And right now, my tummy is telling me I am hungry, which is perfect because I was trying to tell you today is a very exciting day. It's the Maple Syrup Palooza! Have you ever had a maple syrup palooza before? No? Do you even know what a maple syrup palooza is? Well, let me tell you, one day every year, I put maple syrup on everything I eat all day long. For breakfast, I'm starting with maple syrup on my pancakes, maple syrup on my waffles, and maple syrup on my broccoli. Oh! This all looks so delicious. Mmm, it smells so good and all it needs is some maple syrup. What's wrong? Do you think that maple syrup isn't going to taste good in my broccoli because I think it's gonna be delicious. And anyway, for a maple syrup palooza, we put it on everything, no matter what you think it's gonna taste like. All I have to do is pick up the bottle. Oh no, I spilled all of the maple syrup everywhere. What am I going to do? Let me take a deep breath and calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Accidents happen. And you know what I always say? Every problem is an opportunity for adventure. So all I have to do is just clean this up. That's better. Nothing like a little magic to get you out of a sticky situation. Anyway, I guess what I'll have to do is make some more maple syrup. But I don't know how to make maple syrup. Do you? You know what this calls for, the Curiosity Corner. How do we make maple syrup? Do you want to help me find out how to make maple syrup too? Yes? Great! Then I need your help. I need you to use your imagination and say the... Magical Transportation Spell! Ready? Okay. Off we go, we're on our way to have a fun and magical day! Oh, wow! A forest! Look at all of these trees! I love trees! And the trees love you too, Daisy! In this forest, the trees can talk! Oh boy! I sure wish they could! Terry! Hi, Daisy! This is my friend Terry, the tree man. Hi! Daisy, if these trees could talk, I bet they'd have a lot to say. Many of the big ones in this forest are much older than you and I. They are? Yep. And while you may not be able to hear the trees talk to you in the forest, you can probably hear a lot of different animals, like deer, bear, squirrels, and all kinds of birds. Let's use our ears to listen to the birds sing. Was that a bear? That was no bear, Terry. That came from inside here. Oh, then I'll make us some lunch. That's so kind of you to offer, Terry, but I have a whole plan already for my maple syrup palooza. Oh, that sounds fun and delicious, but what does that mean? It means I put maple syrup on everything I eat all day long, starting with pancakes, waffles, and broccoli. Broccoli? No, no, no! 
Oh yes, yum, yum, yum. We'll debate that later. But right now, I have a huge problem. Uh-oh, what's that? I spilled all of my maple syrup and I don't know how to make more. I thought the Curiosity Corner would send us to a factory or something, but instead we landed here in your forest. Oh no. Maybe the Curiosity Corner is broken. Oh, I don't think so, Daisy. If you want to know about maple syrup, you've come to the right place. We have? Yep, because if you want to make maple syrup, the first thing you need are maple trees. And that's just what these are all around us. Oh, so to make maple syrup, we need to cook up some maple trees. Not exactly, but come over here and I'll show you. Hey, all these trees have tubes connected to them. Did you do that, Terry? I did, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first, let's talk about energy. Oh, I love energy, and I have lots of it. Energy is what I use to do stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, and I have energy that I use to do stuff like this. Thanks! And do you know who else has energy, Daisy? Every single living thing on the whole planet! Wow! Like all the deer, squirrels, and bunnies who like to hop, jump, and play? Yes, and all the plants have energy too, including these maple trees. Even though they don't move around like us, they need energy to grow, make flowers. Oh, so they do like a slow motion tree. Yeah. Right! To dance, you need energy. And while people and animals get their energy from the food we eat, do you know how trees get their energy? I do! We learned this from gardener Pauline. Trees get water and nutrients from the soil with their roots, and they collect energy from the sun with their leaves. That's right! The trees take energy from the sun all summer long, and they turn it into a kind of sugar. Wow, trees can make their own sugar? <gasps> that is magical! <laughs> Terry, this is all super interesting, but I still don't know what this has to do with maple syrup. Well, after the trees magically make their sugar, they store it as a watery mixture called sap while they're asleep in the winter. Now it's springtime and the trees are waking up and the sap is moving around inside of them. And as it moves, I collect a little bit of it. I make one little hole in each tree and a little bit of its sap flows out into the tube. And then the sap from all of these trees flows together into this big barrel. See? Let's count how many trees have tubes in them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight trees. Wow, all of that water comes from inside the trees? Yep, but it's not just water, it's sugary sap. Want to taste it? I sure do. Mmm, <laughs> it's sweet. It sure is. That's from the sugar that's in it that the trees made. This is delicious, Terry, but I think if I poured this on my pancakes, it would just be a soggy mess. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We don't put sap on our pancakes or our broccoli. First, we have to turn it into syrup. And to do that, we have to boil it until most of the water evaporates out of it. Perfect, let's do it. Is it syrup yet? Uh, no. To turn into syrup, it will have to boil for many hours. Hours? Yes, I'm afraid we'll have to be patient, Daisy. Oof. You know, when I have trouble being patient, 
I like to sing and dance. Hit it! You know what I need to cheer up? A pancake with maple syrup. Ooey gooey sticky. No time for being picky. We need to eat our breakfast. So we are at our bestest. Maple syrup on my pancake. Yum, yum, yum. Maple syrup. Sounds like using all that energy to dance made you even more hungry. It sure did. Is the maple syrup ready yet? No, I'm afraid it will have to keep boiling for the whole day before it turns into syrup. The whole day? But what about my maple syrup palooza? Well, I think I have something that could help. This is the maple syrup I made last week, and I'd like you to have it. Thanks, Terry. This looks delicious. Wait. It takes all of that watery sap to make this little jar of syrup? It sure did. It takes about 35 gallons of watery sap to make just one gallon of syrup. Wait, I have an idea. We could put lots and lots of holes in each tree, so then we could collect lots and lots of watery sap and make lots and lots of maple syrup. That way, we could have a maple syrup palooza every day! <laughs> I could do that, Daisy, but if I put lots of holes and took lots of sap, then the trees would die. Oh. But if I put just one hole and take just a little bit of sap, then the trees are fine, keep growing, and I can get more sap next year. So every year, I get just a little bit of syrup, and the trees all get to stay healthy. You never want to take more than you need from nature. That sounds like a much better plan. Daisy, it's been super fun having you here today, but it sounds like you really need to go eat. I do. And thanks to this maple syrup, it will be delicious. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, trees. You're welcome. Come back and see us again soon. That was so much fun. Can you believe trees need energy just like us? And they make their own sugar to give them that energy. And then they can share their sap with us so we can have a yummy maple syrup like magic. <sighs> you know what? I have a new idea. Instead of putting maple syrup on everything I eat all day for a maple syrup palooza, I think I'll just put a little bit of maple syrup on my pancakes so I have a lot left for another day because I learned that you never want to take more than what you need. And just remember, magic is everywhere and it's up to you to find it. So go enjoy your day, find some magic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi. It's me, Daisy. I'm so happy you're... Sorry about that. I must be having... Allergies. One, two, three, four. was a lot of sneezes. How many sneezes was that? Four sneezes? Wow, that's a record. See you later. Whoa, there are sparkles everywhere. I better clean this up. Now, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, in the springtime, two very important things happen. First, the flowers bloom. When all the plants, trees, and grasses bloom, their flowers make pollen. Which is what makes me do all those sneezes. That's what allergies are. And the second most important thing, and it's very, very important, is my grandmother comes over for a tea party. It's the most important tea party of the year, and I want everything to be perfect for my grandmother. <sighs> my grandmother loves delicious snacks and is very particular about her tea. She likes it not too hot, with a spot of milk and a big spoonful of honey. Oh no! I've run out of honey! This is a disaster. What am I going to do? I can't serve my grandmother tea without honey. So I'll get more honey before she comes here, which is very, very soon. So I'll have to find more honey. But wait. Honey come from? <laughs> you know what this calls for. <laughs> Curiosity Corner. Where does honey come from? Do you want to find out where honey comes from too? Yes? Great. Then I need your help to get there. I need you to use your imagination and say the magical transportation bell. Ready? Okay. Off we go, we're on our way to have a fun and magical day! Are you from outer space? No, Daisy. It's me, Beekeeper May. You're my bee apiary, which is another word for bee yard. Would you like to learn more about the bees? I do love bees, but today I'm more interested in honey. I need to find honey to make the perfect cup of tea for my grandmother. There must have been a mistake. <laughs> Maybe the curiosity corner is broken. Oh no, Daisy. You can't be interested in honey without being interested in bees. Would you like to learn why? See you at the future. I sure would. Do you want to come check out the bee apiary with me? Yes? Great! Let's go! Not just yet, Daisy. Let's make sure we're in our bee outfits. Wow, Daisy! I love your style! Thank you! Now that we're safe in our beekeeping suits, let's go see some bees! Oh, wow! These are some uh, nice boxes, May, but... Where are all the bees? The bees are inside. This is the hive. That's their home. Oh, neat! Whoa! Those bees are escaping. Should we catch them? No, Daisy. The bees are free to come and go as they wish. I wonder where they're going to and coming from. Don't you? The bees are flying to and from flowers in the neighborhood. Take a look at this. Wow, look at them go! Buzzing and flying and landing. And when they land on flowers, they start wiggling around. It looks like a dance. Let's try it. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Everybody now. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. A little softer now. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land, and wiggle. A little louder now. Buzz, fly, land, and wiggle. 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 Oh, wow, they sure are busy on all those flowers, but what are they doing, May? They're collecting nutritious pollen and sugary nectar from the flowers. Oh, pollen is the worst. Remember those, uh, 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 choos! 
Yes, the bees collect pollen and nectar from different flowers and they bring it back to the hive. Neat! How do they carry it? Do they have little bee baskets? Yes, they've got pollen baskets on their legs. Snack pouches on their legs? That is so cool. And they have a lot of legs. Let's count how many legs a bee has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs! I think snack pouches on your legs are a great idea. I love snacks, and so does my grandmother. <gasps> my grandmother! She's coming soon. Mate, this is all super interesting about bees, but what does this all have to do with honey? Let's take a look inside the hive to find out. <gasps> The bees take the pollen and nectar from their pollen baskets and put it into the honeycombs. Then they all flap their wings very fast to make the water evaporate and turn everything into honey. Honey is delicious and provides nutrition for the bees all winter long when there are no flowers with pollen and nectar for them to collect. Oh, it's cold. At least we got our honey. As you can see, bees work together to survive and thrive. That reminds me of how well my friends and I work together. Just like bees. And now the bees can share some of their honey with you. <gasps> this is going to be perfect in a cup of tea. My grandmother's going to be here any minute. Excuse me, beekeeper May, but I've got to run. Or rather, fly. Well, thank you for coming. Come back anytime. Thank you. We did it. We found out that bees collect nectar and pollen to make honey. And now I have honey for my tea party. For Daisy. And just in time. That must be my grandmother. Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me. I had a wonderful time with you. Hi, it's me, Daisy. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Wait a sec. Can you see me? Because I can't see you. Ah, <laughs> that's better. I'm so happy you're here with me today because I love having friends around. That's why I got this. I love being with trees outside, so I thought, why not have a tree friend come live with me inside? Uh, at first my tree friend seemed really happy, but now it's not looking so good. It's not growing, its leaves are falling off, and it's kind of droopy. Sometimes I feel droopy like this too, and usually it's when I'm hungry. That's it! Our tree friend must be hungry! Let's get it a snack! There you go, tree! Eat up! Um, a bowl of tea. Do trees have mouths? I want to help our tree friend, but trees don't have mouths. How do they eat? You know what this calls for. The Curiosity Corner. How do trees eat? Do you want to find out how trees eat too? Yes? Great. Then I need your help to get there. I need you to use your imagination and say the... Magical Transportation Spell! Ready? Okay. Off we go. We're on our way to have a fun and magical day! Wow! This place is so cool! I bet there's someone here who can help our tree friend feel better. Maybe I can help. What? A talking tree? No, it's me! <laughs> Gardener Pauline! It's so good to see you. We have a tree friend who needs help right away. I love helping trees. What seems to be the matter? Well, I'm pretty sure it's hungry, but I made a sandwich. But I don't know how trees eat, do you? 
I sure do. Trees don't eat the same way that people and most animals do, so you can't just give it a sandwich. Then what can we do? Well, let's think. You need food and nutrients to grow and play and do all sorts of things. <gasps> like this. That's right, Daisy. For example, you need food to do that dance. But trees can soak up energy and nutrients straight from the sun and soil. Wow, that sounds magic. It kind of is. <laughs> Look here. Tree leaves are full of chlorophyll, a green substance that captures energy from the sun. Is chlorophyll what makes trees, grass, and other plants green? It sure is. They all have it. And they also have roots underground, which absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Water, nutrients, and energy from the sun give the tree everything it needs to grow and be healthy without ever eating a sandwich. <gasps> wow, that is magic. But if our tree doesn't need a sandwich, then how can we help it? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can you show it to me? Sure, it's in my kitchen. Your tree is inside? Yes. Well, that's your problem right there, Daisy. Do you remember the three things I said trees need to grow and be healthy? I think so. Do you? They need water, energy from the sun, and nutrients from the soil. Yep, and sunlight and soil <gasps> are the two things our tree doesn't have inside. We need to get your tree outside and planted right away. One tree coming right up. Now we have to find the perfect spot for it. How about here? There's plenty of sunlight and the soil looks rich. Perfect. Next step, we dig a hole. We could use a shovel, but I like to use an excavator. <gasps> wow! It looks like a big dinosaur. How does it work? My friend Dave will show you. Dave, can you help us bring the tree to the hole? <laughs> Dave, thank you, Dave. Look here, these are the roots. The roots are like giant fingers that hold a tree in place and absorb water and nutrients from the soil. So the roots are like big straws that suck up everything they need. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> now, let's loosen up the roots with our hands before we plant it. A nice little tree massage. Yes, that will help it absorb more. Now, let's get your tree friend in the ground so it can start to feel better. <laughs> do you want to try it? I do. All right, let's go. Now, let's get those roots covered, but not too deep. They say, plant them low, they'll never grow. Plant them high, they'll reach the sky. Plant them low, they'll never grow. Plant them high, they'll reach the sky. <laughs> I love it. I'll give it a big drink of water. Oh, tree, you look great. Thank you so much, gardener Pauline. Oh, I'm always happy to help a friend or two. Come back and visit anytime. I can't wait. Bye-bye. That was fun. And we can visit our tree friend anytime. 
It's happy and healthy now, all because of you. Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me. I had a wonderful time with you. Rain, rain, you're okay. I think it's a lovely day. All the plants need you to play. Rain, rain, you're okay. Rain, rain, pretty please. Fill the lakes and feed the trees. Help flowers bloom for the bees. Rain, rain, pretty please. Rain, rain, please don't stop. Can you give just one more drop? In puddles I like to hop. Rain, rain, please don't stop. Rain, rain, oh thank you. The frogs and fish are happy too. Soon the sky will be all blue. Rain, rain, oh thank you. Good morning, Jake and Mariam. Look who's here. Hi. Come on in. We're so happy you're here with us today. And look who else is here. It's Mimi in Mimi's kitchen. Hello, everyone! Hello! Hello. <laughs> what are you cooking today, Mimi? I'm roasting up some vegetables for lunch. All I need to do is season them, and then they're woo de doo ready to go. Jake and Mariam, do you want to help season the vegetables? Yeah! Great! Hop on up! First, we have to just add a little olive oil. A little salt and a pepper. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Perfecto! Now they're all ready to go in the oven because it's all nice and hot. But you're gonna let me do it, okay? Yeah. And you too. The oven is very hot, hot, hot. So stand far away and only let adults touch. to set the timer. Did you hear that? Somebody rang the doorbell. Let's go see who it is. Hi, guys. It's our neighbors, Matumba, Tedesia, and Curtis. Matumba wanted to come and play. Of course. Come on in. Good. Oh, hello, everybody. Come on. Hey, we're so happy to see you, Daisy. What's that delicious smell? I'm just in the middle of roasting some very delicious vegetables. We'd love to have you join us for lunch, but... But I don't think we have enough vegetables for everybody. Oh, no! We don't have enough vegetables for our friends. What should we do? I know. Let's go on an adventure to get Mimi more vegetables. That way, our friends can have lunch with us. Thank you so much, Daisy. We would love to have lunch with you guys. What a great idea, Daisy. Here, let me give you a list. Daisy, I have a question. A question? You know what this calls for. The Curiosity Corner. Where do vegetables come from? Where do vegetables come from? What a wonderful question. Would you like to find out where vegetables come from too? Yes? Great. Then I need your help. I need you to use your imagination and say the... Magical Transportation Spell! Ready? Okay. Off we go. We're on our way to have a fun and magical day. Oh, look at all these rows of plants. A vegetable is a type of plant. These must be vegetables. Look, Benjamin is here. What makes you strong and 
makes you smart What tastes so good but makes you Excuse me But in all actuality is great for you and me I love my vegetal BLE Here we go kids I eat all my vegetables Cause they make me nice and strong When I don't I feel so weak Guess that means it's time to eat Mushrooms That's a vegetable Bell peppers That's a vegetable Winter squash That's a vegetable Kale That's a vegetable Asparagus That's a vegetable Summer squash That's a vegetable V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E-S V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E-S I love all my vegetables! Can I have some? Great song, Benjamin! Well, Daisy, you know I love vegetables. And I hear you have a question. Want to know where vegetables come from? Great! Follow me! Take a look at this tomato plant. This huge tomato plant came from a tiny seed. Come take a look. Vegetables start as seeds, and with soil, water, and sunlight, this tiny seed will eventually grow to be a big plant, like that one. Wow! Daisy, want to help me plant some seeds? Of course. Great. First, fill your pot with soil. Then, dig a little hole. At home, you can imagine the soil in your hands. It feels moist and gritty, right? Can you pretend to feel the soil in your hands? Smell it. Oh, smells like dirt. <laughs> Next, get your seed. It's very, very tiny. Put the seed in the hole, cover up with soil, and then get some water. Where's that watering can? Oh, got it. Thanks, Daisy. Pour a little bit of water over the soil. And if you're patient and remember to give your soil the right amount of water and sunlight, your seed will eventually grow to be a big plant like that one. Wow. What happens next? When they're ripe and ready to harvest, we pick them off the vine like this. Then we put them in the box and bring them to the farmer's market to sell. A farmer's market? My favorite! Do you want to come to a farmer's market with me? Yes? Let's go! Oh, wow! Look at all of these vegetables! Let's check Mimi's list to see what we need to get. Uh-oh. Where did I put that list? Here it is. Okay. Can you help me find the carrots? Oh. Here they are, you found them! The orange carrots! Okay, let's see what's next. Onions. You are so good at finding things. Okay, let's put it down and check it off the list. Only one vegetable left, broccoli. Now I think I remember seeing some. Is this broccoli? Oh, silly me, a radish. I know, this is broccoli. Now we have everything Mimi needs to make roasted vegetables. 
Let's go pay. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Hi there. Did you find everything you need? Yes, we were just collecting ingredients for Mimi to make roasted vegetables. Sounds delicious. That'll be five dollars. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Let's get Mimi these vegetables. Hi, everyone. Oh, great. You're back. Did you find out where vegetables come from? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. We had so much fun learning where vegetables come from today. We learned they start as seeds. And they need soil, water, and sunlight to grow. Had to stick the timing, the vegetables, they are ready. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me. I had a wonderful time with you. Now it's time to take a rest. I'm proud of you, you did your best. Thank you for joining our magical day. I hope you decide to come back and play. Just remember, magic is everywhere. But it's up to you to find it. So go enjoy your day, find some magic, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye Hi, it's me, Daisy. I'm so happy you're here with me today because I'm doing one of my favorite things. I'm making a quiche. A quiche is sort of like a pie, but it's not sweet and... <laughs> But back to my quiche. I'm making a quiche for my good friend, Beekeeper Betty. She loves quiche. <laughs> Again? Did you hear that? I don't know what is making that noise, but I sure hope it stops so I can concentrate on my quiche. So, we need vegetables, cheese, lots of eggs, and then we put it in the oven and... <laughs> What is making that noise? You know what this calls for? The Curiosity Corner. What goes bark? Do you want to find out what goes bark too? Yes? Great. Then I need your help to get there. I need you to use your imagination and say the Transportation bell! Ready? Okay. Off we go, we're on our way to have a fun and magical day! Oh, wow! A chicken yard! Oh, I love chickens! Look at how sweet they are! Now, where could she be? That's my neighbor, Jenny! I'm right here, Jenny! Hi, baby! Great to see you. Hi, Jenny. What brings you here today? Well, I've got a bit of a mystery, but wait, how did you know I was coming? I didn't. But I heard you looking for me. Oh, I wasn't looking for you. I was looking for one of my chickens. Oh, no. Have you lost a chicken? I think so. See, I have seven chickens in total, but right now I can only find six. Can you count with me to be sure? I love counting. Count with me. One, two, three. Um, Jenny, it looks like you only have three chickens. Right, there are three out here, but there are more inside the coop. Let me show you. I've never seen inside of a coop before. Let's go. chickens in here. <laughs> Let's count them. We have three out here and here we have four, five, 
six. <laughs> we had three chickens outside and three chickens in here, which means we have six chickens in total because three plus three equals six, which still means you're missing one chicken. But the ones inside here look so cozy. <laughs> they are, and they're safe and don't have to worry about predators. <gasps> predators? You mean animals that might try and eat them? That's right, like foxes, coyotes, and even big birds like hawks. But inside this coop, they're safe to sleep at night and lay their eggs. <gasps> that must be why there's little nests inside. <laughs> Come, I'll give you a closer look. <laughs> a hen, which is a word for a female chicken, sits on her eggs to keep them warm until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> into baby chicks? Yep, though not every egg turns into a chick. Those are the ones that we can have to eat. I love eating eggs. What do chickens like to eat? Broccoli? Hot dogs? <laughs> Definitely not hot dogs. Let me show you. Chickens eat insects, worms, seeds, and grains. So, no hot dogs. <laughs> no, we don't feed them hot dogs. We feed them seeds and grains, and they find bugs and worms in the yard. They even eat pesky little bugs like ticks. Ooh, I do not like ticks. Me neither. They take care of that for me. So you help the chickens by feeding them and giving them a safe coop. And the chickens help you by sharing their eggs and taking care of ticks. That's right. And their manure has a lot of nutrients for the soil. Manure is another word for poop. <laughs> As they peck around, they leave their manure. Oh, okay, poop. <laughs> And their poop has a lot of nutrients and helpful ingredients for the soil for the trees and plants to grow. So, you help and share with the chickens. The chickens help and share with you. The soil feeds the chickens. The chickens help the soil. And the soil helps the trees and plants grow. And the trees and plants help all sorts of things. <laughs> and the helping and sharing just keep going and going and going. Exactly, and that's what we call an ecosystem. Speaking of, I could really use a help right now. I love helping. <laughs> With what? With finding the lost chicken. <gasps> right, the lost chicken. Let's go find that chicken. Where could she possibly be? I don't know, we've looked everywhere. You know, sometimes when I'm a little stuck or frustrated, it helps to do a little song about it. Like, I always love to help out. It's so much fun to pitch in. We're gonna find it, no doubt. It must be in the... Um... So I feel a little better, but I still don't know where the missing chicken is. Maybe if we all do it together, it will help. Ready? I always love to help out. It's so much fun to pitch in. We're gonna find it, no doubt. It must be in the... <laughs> what was that? It's just one of the chickens. They usually do that when they get scared or upset. I think our dance moves might have frightened it. That's it! What's what? That's the answer to the mystery we came here to solve. What goes bakok? A chicken. You didn't already know that, did you? Why are you so curious about that, Daisy? I was in my kitchen before and I kept hearing this noise and it sounded like bakok. The lost chicken. I'll be right back. I always love to help out. It's so much fun to pitch in. We're gonna find it, no doubt. It's right here in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, poor thing. She must have gotten lost. Let's bring you back to your coop. Oh, she seems so happy to be home. She sure does. Thank you so much for your help, Daisy. My pleasure and helping solve the mystery of what goes bakok 
helped us solve the other mystery of where the missing chicken was. Now I'd like to share something with you, Daisy. And I'm sure the chickens would approve. Eggs! Oh, thank you, chickens. <laughs> and thank you so much, Jenny. These will be perfect for making a quiche. I totally forgot. I have to head home to finish my quiche. <laughs> Go on and come back and visit us anytime. We will. That was fun. Now I can finish my quiche for Beekeeper Betty. And I have enough eggs to make even more quiches to share with more friends. And maybe by sharing with those friends, it will help them be helpful to others. And it'll just keep going on and on and on, like magic. And it's all because of you. Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me today. I had a wonderful time with you. Good morning, Jake and Mariam. Look who's here. Hi. Hi. Come on in. We're so happy you're here with us today. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? My tummy. Sounds like we need to all have breakfast. What would you like to eat for breakfast? Cereal and milk, please. Great choice. We need a bowl, cereal, <laughs> And milk. We pour the Uh oh. We've run out of milk. Looks like before we have breakfast, we need to get more milk. Daisy, I have a question. A question? You know what this calls for. The Curiosity Corner. Where does milk come from? Where does milk come from? What a wonderful question. Would you like to find out where milk comes from too? Yes? Great, then I need your help. I need you to use your imagination and say the magical transportation spell. Ready? Okay. Off we go, we're on our way to have a fun and magical day! Oh, wow! A farm! Ah, I love the smell of a farm. Can you use your nose to pretend to smell the farm with me? You know what else I smell? Cows. Maybe that's a clue to help us find milk for our breakfast. Let's go find those cows. are so many. How many do you think we have here? I know, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cows. Hey, look, it's Farmer Joe. Hi there, Daisy. Hi, Farmer Joe. Could you help us figure out where milk comes from? You're in luck. The cows are just about to go back into the farm to be milked. Perfect. This is Buttercup. She's very friendly. You can pet her. She likes that. She's one of our dairy cows on the farm. Dairy? That's milk. That's what we need for our breakfast. Exactly. 
let me show you where your milk comes from. If you come take a look under here, this is where Buttercup stores her milk. It's called an udder. An udder. Now, we take the bucket, we put it underneath her udder, then we hold one of her four teats in our hands, and we squeeze one hand at a time like this, and the milk comes out. Wow. <laughs> After we collect the milk, we process it to make sure it's safe for us to drink. Then we bottle it for you to use in your cereal. Or we can use it to make another dairy product like cheese or ice cream. I'm sure you love to eat ice cream, don't you? I do. Here's a bottle of milk just for you, Daisy. Thanks, Farmer Joe. Now we can enjoy our delicious breakfast. And thanks to you, we know that milk comes from cows. Sure does. What did that cow just say? I know what to do. Thanks, Farmer Joe. You're very welcome. Come back anytime. Well, hi, Daisy. Hi, Benjamin. We just visited cows. Cows? Yes. We learned that milk comes from cows. But what does a cow say? That's a super question. Hit it! Does a cow say quack? Does a cow say bah? Does a cow say cock a doo doo? That's right, it doesn't. A cow says moo. A cow says moo. A cow says moo. Even at the zoo. A cow says moo. So if you're feeling blue and you don't know what to do, wiggle, waggle, hold a hand and say a big moo. A cow says moo. A cow says moo. Even in Peru. A cow says moo. A cow says moo. You know what to do. Wiggle, waggle, hold a hand and say a big moo. Great job, Daisy. Thanks, Benjamin. Now we know a cow says moo. That's right. What was that? I think my tummy is telling me it's time to eat. Our bodies talk to us all the time. We just have to listen. Let's go eat. Thanks, Benjamin. See you next time. Anytime, Daisy. Bye-bye. What a wonderful adventure. We learned that milk comes from? Cow. And a cow says? Milk. That's right. What was your favorite part? I like that too. Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me. I had a wonderful time with you. I hear you, I see you with all your going through. I hear you, I see you, I'll be here for you. No matter the worry, I'll take care of you. I hear you, I see you, I'll be there for you. I'll hold you, be with you, no matter. I hear you, I see you, I'll be there for you.